These are bevel gears and we can tell the bevel gear by the design. When you look at a bevel gear, you'll see that the outer edge sticks up much higher than the inner edge, which is much smaller. So they taper downward. So they have a tapered cut to it. It's like a spur gear with a tapered cut. They sit together in this fashion to control the power flow. As I rotate the gear here on the right, clockwise, the gear on the left turns counterclockwise. What also happens with this is the rotational power flow changes by 90 degrees. It was coming in in this fashion and going out in this fashion. So as we rotate once again, we change that power flow direction. This particular gear is an axle gear that goes into a differential and these splines right here connect to the axle shafts which drives the drive wheels. There's some other interesting characteristics about this gear that I want to point out. If we take a look right over here, we can see the shiny spot where the gear was making contact. But we can also see some lines of wear area. If you run your fingernail across that, we would be able to feel a little lip there. That is not normal. Now if we were to look at the other side of this gear, the same side the tooth, but not that particular side of the tooth, we would see shiny spots for where the wear pattern is at, but we wouldn't see those grooves cut in there. Those grooves are not in there. It's shiny where it makes contact, but there's no actual grooves that we can feel with a fingernail. The reason for that is that every gear tooth has a drive side to it and a coast side to it. The coast side doesn't take as much load as the drive side. The drive side takes all the load under the heavy acceleration and this is where the gear teeth made contact and so this is all that extra heavy load and that's where the wear took place. As soon as you let off on the accelerator the load changes to the other side of the tooth and that's what we call the coast side and that doesn't nearly take the same amount of load. If things get super excessive you'll end up with a pair of gears that look like this. This one is totally wiped out. It ran out of oil. It won't transfer any power to this spider gear and this is totally stripped out. 